Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. Today I wanted to talk very quickly about a few books that I'm doing a book talk for at our youth services retreat that is later this week and I'm using this as me practicing but also me providing you with picture book recommendations that feature diverse characters. Win-win I think. We're doing it based on different um, ethnicities categories and the first book that I want to talk about is The Breaking News. This is written and illustrated by Sarah Lynn Rowe and she's got a Another book that also features uh, discussions about emotions called Ally All Along. In this one, we are uh, introduced to a family um, that's really ambiguous. They don't mention anything about ethnicity in here, um, but this book is discussing the very common occurrence nowadays of how much breaking news is impacting our relationships with each other. Um, so in the book, we start out with their parents learning all this all of this bad news and that's changing their relationship dynamic of them not being as attentive as parents um, and the young girl realizes and hears from her teacher that it's good to think about the good um, and to lean on the good people in the community making changes so she decides that little by little she is going to help her community she is going to do something little and by doing something little um, and her family doing something in little, the whole community doing little acts of goodness create one really big, good community. Um, so it has a really good message. I think it um, sparks a dialogue about emotions and when you're fed a deluge of bad news, what do you do in that situation? How do you turn it into a positive situation? And how do you deal with those emotions and sadness that comes with the fact that your parents aren't paying as much attention to you? Uh, under Latinx slash Hispanic, I want to recommend Dreamers by Yuji Morales. This is um, her new release. This is the story of her own immigration to the United States from Mexico in the 1990s with her young son. In this book, we are uh, shown all of this mixed media art that comes from um, her own day-to-day -day life and personal belongings. Um, and in this book, we are introduced to them moving here and feeling unsure about how that is that whole trek is going to go and how their new life is going to play out here in the US. And what she finds is that the language is hard and the um, new customs are hard, but everything changes when they visit the library. In the library, they're able to discover and um, are able to see themselves represented. They're able to see stories um, to speak of them and completely change their worldview. It allows them to dream, it allows them to hope, and it allows them to love. Um, and it just has a beautiful message, beautiful illustrations to depict what it's like to be a dreamer in this country. Um, it also has a really lovely end note about her own story in the back that where she describes her immigration story and what inspired this book. The next book that I want to talk about is I Really Want to See You Grandma by Taro Gomi. This is a sweet, sweet story, probably my favorite out of this whole pile. Um, and in this book, we are introduced to Grandma and Yumi, and they really want to see each other. So they decide to get on different modes of transportation to cross town to see each other. But they realize that they're both going to visit each other at the same exact time. Therefore, they keep missing each other and they keep crossing paths to visit each other and missing each other. And the very common funny refrain is, Oh no! Grandma cried. This would be a great story time book for grandparents story time or for even a transportation story time because Yumi and Grandma get on so many different um, modes of transportation to visit each other. It's got really simple illustrations and the best part is the ending where of course they finally see each other. I want to see Yumi now. I want to see Grandma now. And they end up meeting in the middle and decide next time when we want to see each other we're gonna tell each other and call each other. I also want to talk about Grandma's Purse by Vanessa Brantley Newton. She's got lots of books and she's just a great all-around illustrator and um, writer of picture books. And in this book we're introduced to Grandma Mimi and her granddaughter who are meeting up with each other and visiting and uh, the granddaughter's favorite thing is to go through 
grandma's purse that has lots of treasures hidden inside. Um, grandma is really fashionable and so she has lots of earrings and bobby pins um, and things in her um, purse and perfume that the granddaughter really enjoys to play and go through. This would inspire um, ideas for play and it would be great for a grandmother or family story time. I mean, this is just adorable. Just adorable. And last but not least, I want to talk about Meet Yasmin. And this is by Sadia Faruqi, and the art is illustrated by Hatem Ali. This is a book about Yasmin. And this is the first one, I think they published three this year so far, uh, of Yasmin and her Pakistani-American family. Um, it's a beginning chapter book, so it's great for kids who are straddling between um, easy readers and chapter books. Um, because it has lots of color pictures that would be um, interesting to those kids. But it also has chapters, which makes them feel like they're really getting on to the chapter books area. Um, and it's just about Yasmin's hobbies and um, her and her family hanging out. She's got lots of different kinds of hobbies, like being a builder. She also really enjoys fashion and clothes. Um, she enjoys painting, so she is... Um, a very uh, interested child in different things. I really really enjoyed this because of how imaginative Yasmin is and how sweet her family is for indulging her in all of these things that she wants to try out um, and it would be a great uh, chapter book for kids who are just becoming emerging readers. All right, that is it for the stack that I have. Um, I do have a partner doing this and she has another stack. Maybe I'll put together that whole list and upload it at some point. If you're interested in more of these kinds of videos, let me know. I read a lot of picture books nowadays and I would be interested in talking more about them. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for helping me practice. I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.